Hello and welcome to episode 33 of The Long Distance Stitchers. My name is Megan. I am also Megan. And this is our channel about cross stitch and I think some crochet. Yes, we will have a guest appearance by crochet today. Yes, uh, and this is going to be a sort of July and August wrap up because we had our whip right at the end of July. So the stitching you would have seen in July, but we also do have some haul from July that speaks for yourself, my July haul. Oh, I guess I, I have some floss. Yeah. There you go. Um, I have quite a bit. I got quite a few orders in July and then like nothing for the last little while. So yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I hear you might have started something new since we last. I did start something new. Do you want to start with that? Oh, that? the one that we both started? Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. sure. And then so, we can hold them up together. Longtime viewers will know that what we're talking about is The Moon Phase Bell Pole by Tiny Modernist, which we started as a stitch along with lots of our friends. And I will say for transparency's sake, so we gave away a piece of fabric, a uh, piece of Kaylee's fabulous fabric, and Steph Pocket Roddy was the winner of that. So that fabric has made its way to Steph. A little bit late to join us, but there's reasons. Um, but Steph's been very understanding and Steph said that she needed the pattern. So I also got that sent directly to her rather than to Canada and back again um mm -hmm. uh with with the floss for it so um happy stitching staff I think she talked about it on her last episode I have not been watching floss tube for many reasons I she hadn't made one in a while but it came up after something else I was watching and I was like oh my god stuff um and I think she did say that she got it and everything awesome awesome well maybe I'll catch up on that in 10 to 12 business years <laughs> um this is my tiny, tiny, tiny start. I oh, you started at the bottom. I started at the bottom um, just because of the way, I don't know, it just made more sense to me. That's fair. And I, my light is fabric. Okay. It's not that dark in real life. It is pretty dark. Um, yeah, I was, this came up um, in a week where I just was like not stitching. I was just exhausted every day. Um, work has been really busy because it's like the end of summer and it's just been crazy every day. Um, so yeah, I did five <laughs> stitches there. And also this is like 32 count dark linen. So I was like, I'm not, uh, uh too much. Yeah. So, this yeah. came up in a month where I was not stitching. Um, but I was, um, in a different physical location for a week where I, was still working because time off is what even is that um but I was not commuting and so when you know the thought started very early in the morning I had many hours to stitch before I even had to turn on my computer so I started at the top and I got my first moon even yeah yours looks really good I'm excited to do those trees that's why I started at the bottom see and I have a potential plan for my trees so I need to think about it. oh are you going are you going rogue maybe a smidge just just like the tiniest smidge just to do a thing I gotta map it out and if it works I might share it in case people also want to but yeah what what count fabric was yours again mine is 32 okay mine's 36 so okay yeah it's smaller than yours yeah, mine is linen, 32 count. And just like any tiny modernist pattern, a delight. Yeah, no, it's it's beautiful. I'm, if I was in a better headspace, I would have enjoyed it a lot more, I'm sure. Um, I also... Something about... Oh, I was, I'm so far behind on all my whip goes that I was just like, I just want to put a few stitches in this, but I, if I dedicate any time to anything, it needs to be a whip go because I am so behind. But then I did start something that was not part of the plan. So I think that's probably what Megan was referring to when she said that she heard I started something. And now, so this is 
is the Duckworth Street Sampler by D's 20 Stitches. It's so and beautiful. Beautiful. I love the bright pink. Mm -hmm. um, and this was their like homage, tribute, um, support of the brand new Brennan Needle store that is opening September this month um, in Newfoundland and St. John's on Duckworth Street, hence the name Duckworth Street Sampler. Um, so Dee designed this pattern using all Brennan Needle flosses and he chose different uh, elements based on things in Newfoundland, like the birds, the turns. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to know more about it, you can watch uh, his video um, where he talks about all the the buildings and like everything. Uh, it's all, yeah, it's really cool. Well, I, I forget what the flowers are. They said something so, about- Oh, look at me. I have not watched that video either. Anyway, they, they explain everything, uh, what all the flowers are, what all the birds are. Anyway, it's really beautiful. I love the colors. And I went and bought it off the Brennan Needle website immediately upon <laughs> them posting it on uh, Instagram. I was literally on, on the bus. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go buy this right now. Um, thank you, my telephone. And then I was going to buy the flosses to go with it. Um, and I was looking at the floss, um, the chart, the color chart on the pattern. And I was like, wait, some of these sound super familiar. I think I might already have those. And I did, I have three of them. Um, and then the other three actually weren't on the website when I looked, they might be there now. They've updated, they've like released more stuff. Um, but I found some pretty close uh, approximations. So these are the three that I had. So this is Rec House, this is Sprung Greenhouse, and this is Lassie Mags, Lassie Mogs, Mogs. Um, and so those are the ones that are called for. And then this one was supposed to be, I think it was called Witch, but I didn't have that one. So this is Don't Sleep on Your Back. And this is also Brittany Needle. And then for the last two, I just dug out some Roxy Floss. So this will be for the pink, which I think is pretty dang close. And then this is more of like a golden green in the picture, but the color is described as being olive. And I was like, that's that's an olive green. So this is back to the fuchsia <laughs> from Roxy Floss. And this is asparagus, which I know I have multiple of asparagus because I feel like I've picked it up for I have I have a lot of asparagus. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's well no. Maria, yeah. That's what I thought. And I'm a fan. So. it's a really good green it's such a good green for like grass and stuff mm -hmm. um and then I have my tiny start so this is the house I started in the middle because this is a 10 by 10 piece of um 14 count aqua by Zweigart and it will fit perfectly because I think it's like six and a half by seven mm -hmm. so with uh, a like three inch border it'll be just perfect so I decided Great. to start up with the big house and I did my little windows. And I think it looks great. It's gonna be might beautiful. Be, might be upside down. I don't know. At this point it doesn't really matter. We need to start uh, planning a Newfoundland trip. So that yeah. Can, <clears throat> sorry. But so we can go see it in person. I mean I've already started house hunting in Newfoundland, so That's true, that's true. Um, <laughs> as, soon, um as soon as they post that they're hiring. Megan's yeah, <laughs> I, I can transfer to Starbucks. I can work part time at Starbucks. I can work part time with Brennan Needle. I have it all planned out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I do have one more start since we're talking about starts. So I am really behind on my whip goes, as I said. So this is my whip go for July, and it was supposed to be, or it will be the um, Christmas ornament. Uh, where is she? Yeah. So this is the Christmas ornament. And it's all done in DMC Diamant. I don't have the exact Diamant colors, but I am pretty close. 
So I'm doing mine also in two strands. I'm doing one strand and this is 14 count and I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a big one. It's bigger than other ones. And my, my Christmas tree is also on this fabric. You can kind of see. Hanging out in the corner there. <laughs> All crumpled up right now. Um, Fire out. My, I really have to finish this one. I'm so far behind. I don't know how my whip goes, but oh well. Oh, were Here's we supposed to do the whip go board this year or just build it? I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's your board, your rules, right? That's yeah, my why board. Just... My rule is don't bother. Okay. Um, I mean, fall and winter will be prime stitching time, so I'm, I'll get caught up then. That's mm -hmm. that's what I'll just keep telling myself. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's all my starts. Okay. I'm out of order here, but yeah, I realized that as we were in the middle of talking about the Aurora Moon phase, but it's fine. It's fine. We were excited about our sound. Yeah, yeah. I have three other starts. So the first one, I'm going to pop up the cover photo first, is from um, oh, oh, you started this? the Under the Sea, which I saw this. I had to purchase it immediately. Yeah. Um, and then also start it immediately. So, and I just I have know. a little baby start on it, but um, there it is. I started this oh, the day yeah. after our um, giant whip parade, but I'm using my Calypso fabric from Kaylee at the sewing shop. I just got a oh. couple little seagulls and a dolphin in the start of the uh, Moa Moa there. And like, it's, it's gonna be so good. happy. I just need to be stitching again. Um, yeah. But I love it. I love it so much. I think it's gonna be beautiful on my Calypso fabric. Mm -hmm. And I still then have one more piece of this from this piece, and then I might need to buy more. Yeah. Yeah. I think I need another piece as well. I haven't even used my first one, but. Mm -hmm. when when you can get it, you should get it. Yeah. And then I also, I'm one of the people doing the tarot swap organized by Michelle Bendy. It is September 1st. These were supposed to be sent August 1st. It's not. I don't think it, well, some people did get theirs. I've seen theirs. Yeah. Oh yeah. People have been getting them. My partner will be very forgiving. I know. Um, I need to finish the dress there's quite a bit of stitching left in there like it's not full coverage but there is still quite a bit um yeah this has been it like it's it's cute and like the effect is nice but the like there's five or six colors of pink in here and the back and forth in getting them all yeah done. um when my brain's already fried it doesn't elicit good stitching and then this fabric, I'm not going to pull it out. This is my July Kaylee fabric of the month. And it's got these painted, uh, silver painted hashed things on there. And I thought it added a nice something, something to the background here. So when I am done stitching this, I'm going to cut it out. So the person gets the full frame of the paint. Um, and then they can decide what they want to do with it. Cause we don't have to finish these. Oh, you're just sending it. Yeah. Low key, no stress. That's yeah. why it's also okay to be late. It's not supposed to be stressful and it'll go off. And then my final start is our crochet guest feature. And I've got yarn hanging off of this because it's in progress, but I started my Pokemon yarn project and I'm just doing a giant granny square blanket. So I'm working on color 28 or 29 right now of 93 colors and so at first I was going around and around now I'm at the point where depending on what I'm doing a color doesn't necessarily make it all the way around the square so it's going to start looking different on each corner which will be fun effects mm -hmm. um, but this has been really nice for my brain because it doesn't take any thinking yeah one because these are little 20 gram mini skeins I'm holding its fingering weight, but I'm holding it double. So one ball doesn't take very long to do. 
and I was able to do it whilst driving on logging roads, which is why I started it because crochet is the only thing I can do whilst driving on logging roads. But when you're driving mm -hmm. on them for hours, it's also nice to have something for your brain. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be giant and it's already so cozy and I love it. And yeah. I'm doing a rainbowish fade. I put the browns kind of in the middle because I didn't want to start with them. And I didn't want them, it's gonna end with the like with the really dark, like there's a couple gray and black. Oh, okay. Um oh, that's a good idea. With that. So I sort of mix them in with between the orange to yellow transition. Yeah. And yeah. like I'm not taking anything out, so that's what it's gonna be at this point. Like that that's what yeah. it is. But <laughs> I did um last weekend because I done up like 20 of them I think for my trip and then I wasn't sure about the color order of the next few like like I wasn't quite done I just wasn't sure about the color order so I'm just like I'm just gonna do them all so I did them all up and I ordered them all out and so I renumbered because I had originally done my color order using photos and I was finding that the photos weren't like yeah because lighting exactly right, right. Yeah. yeah yeah um so I was like I just need to see them all and if I'm pulling them all out I might as well wind them all so I've got all my little balls of yarn and I had to use my winder because to do it double I want to be able to pull from both sides right I couldn't just hand wind them so it was a big process but they're all done now we'll just keep plugging away yeah. on it those are all my starts did you hey finish anything since finish we had our one yeah. thing me too i staffed one thing um and it is one of my quirky quaker whip goes this one is from july and the prompt was summer themed so i did the jellyfish beautiful is that with the cottage gardens this is a cottage garden red duo that came with it um and i already have my uh little group here because i'm going to do the octopus and then the crab nice down here because my august calls were a swimming animal and something ocean themed oh and i had just bought this bundle because i needed the jellyfish and i was like oh, i'll just get them all yeah. and then the august ones were announced and i was like perfect so i'm going to do them all in a row on this piece of this is Meyer from Picture This Plus. Mm. This is what my stingray is on. This is what Megan's stingray is on, and her lobster. And my lobster, yeah. So this piece of fabric has got a lot of quirky quakers on it, yeah. Many, many quakers, but I think it looks so good on there. It does. Um, and I, I'm gonna put the the crab on the lighter part down here because it's like the sandy shore. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, so that's the plan. Mm -hmm. Um, so that is my one, my one and only finish. Okay. But perhaps they will. Bye. Be Soon. Only finished since our whip parade was my um for team 14 count our Carolyn Manning round robin. I finished Danielle's night before Christmas piece. This is the side that I stitched. I never ended up taking a nicer photo than my oh my god, it's done photo. So this is this is what I have. Excuse the rumples and the like unestheticness of it but this this was delightful to stitch um I'm really enjoying the Carolyn Manning um stitching and it ha has been sent on to Michelle May Moose Mama so it's safely at her house now and she'll do the next quarter I've got um I didn't bring it downstairs but I do have um my next one to do which is Mandy's and I forget the name of the pattern but it's all reds it's all just a whole bunch of different reds. Um, oh, okay. That should be fun to dig into as well. But I need to I need to finish the tarot card and I need to do um, my ink circles round robin piece, which I haven't even started yet before mm. I dig into Mandy's. I have also also not started my ink circles. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I have a whole month. It's only month. September 1st. Yeah. Yeah. We have a whole month. And mine, I know my last, the last bit that I'm doing is really, really small. Because mm -hmm. it was like 70 by 70 is like the total. Oh, wow. That is a small yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, it's really small. Yeah. It has like six colors. 
so there'll be a lot of color changing but yeah very small Not very big okay did you work on any of your other whips i did work on some of my whips um so i worked on my mother nature by marumi did which i did show in our whip parade because i had just been working on it um, I worked on it two more times after I showed it. So I did, did some good, I did yeah. there. There's not much left down yeah. here. And this is uh, almost done up there. Well, she's, she's pretty and close. You could probably the... knock that out pretty quick. Yeah. I worked on it for like another week or two. No, not even. I could do it. I, I am moving on to other things because I do want to finish other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then one of my other Whipco calls, I think this one was for July, was a stitch on a Quaker. So I worked on Pirate Quaker by Michelle Bendy. Always an excellent choice. And this is on Coffee Stain 14 Count from Kaylee at the sewing shop. And it is using the called for uh, cottage garden threads and one silky because I couldn't get the white cottage garden. Oh, look how much you have. I did a lot. So mm -hmm. when we last saw this, I had this rat and I had this boat and Yoho and this skull. So I did this skull. I This was started, but it is now done. The whole outside band. And this whole red one I did. And I started this one as well. Yeah. And this, little, this little guy. It looks so good. Yeah. We I are... don't sent me a photo of that. This was like, you've been sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> we are cruising to a finish. Love I think it. you were away. I think this is when you were away and we weren't talking as much because you didn't have your. You didn't oh, have... we're not talking as much because I'm not. <laughs> well, the cell <laughs> service was bad and yeah. <laughs> You can you can talk at me as much as you want, and I will reply. I can just send you pictures, and you'll get them when you get. It. Um. Yeah. So that was that was a lot of work on that one. Well, I'm very happy with that. And then I did also work on my deadly aquarium sal, um, which now the final drop is out, so I can show you what it will look like. And I did not even start it, so who knows when. Who knows what some people have have caught up the whole time and oh, theirs I, is done. I know um but we are not those people and that's okay well i mean i wasn't gonna do it in the first place and then i was like oh maybe i'll get it and then i was like oh maybe i do want to do it and then it's yeah. just been non-stop it is a great pattern it's very big yeah that's the thing it's big and i have a lot of big things and i should and i don't I just don't see myself finishing it uh, anytime soon, but I will keep plucking away on it um, for many years to come, and one day it'll be done. Um, but yeah, so this is what this is what it'll look like. And then it's in. The little puffin was the newest part, and the crocodile was the last drop. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Right, my iPad's dying. Um, but I so when I when I started working on this, we were on um drop eleven, so that jellyfish hadn't been added in yet. So otherwise, I would have been working on that jellyfish. Mm -hmm. it was there. Um, but I started working on my shark, so I'm pretty close to being done the top part of the frame, and then I wanted to start doing something not black. Yeah. Um, so which is there. water. There's and a bit of shark so, yeah i love this fabric this is 16 count neptune neptune's depth from kaylee and it's also what my ink circles um squid is on so it's very good for underwater stuff it is probably why it's called neptune's depth yeah it's just it's disgusting a Tell us if she's we're wrong, like, really. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she's like, no, it's actually supposed to be the sky. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, and my last, well, no, my second to last whip. Um, I have completed all of the stitching on 
my four seasons. No, not all the stitches. It's a lot. I have completed most of the regular cross stitches. There's still a little leaf that goes in here, and then the words that go across mm -hmm. are like partially back stitch, partially regular stitch. Yeah. So, but all of the sections are completely stitched. Yeah. I will be finishing this maybe this year. Maybe as a, yeah, I should. As I just like cross it off the list. Yeah. Yeah. And then I can hang it up in my kitchen as yeah. I have wanted to do for the last five years yeah. since I started. Yeah. So yeah, so I did this whole, this whole. It looks great. Looks really, actually, it looks really good from, from far away. Up close, it just looks a mess without the stitching. Yeah. I think, like, without the back stitching. It I will it will make it pop though, right? Like it'll give it that impression. Because like you look at it compared to the winter one where the back stitching's yeah. all done for the most part. Like yeah. The back stitching is completely done here except it for is the completely outside. Okay. Yeah. The outside I took off because it was getting caught because it's just like long stitches. This one is partially done. And then this one's not done at all. And this one's yeah. This will be, this will be finished soon. I'm so exciting. Mm -hmm. And it was, yeah, a lot of, a lot of stitching. And on 14 count, I've been stitching on 14 count a lot this month, actually. Can you tell that I've been very tired? I'm like, linen, get out of here. Mm -hmm. And then my last whip, and I just got this out a couple of days ago. Um, so one of my, so my August whip go was the fishies. So I worked on the dead, deadly aquarium and Ju June was actually the four seasons because it was a full coverage one and I just kept putting it off, putting it off. Um, and then, <laughs> um, so now this is my last whip go call for August. So I'll be completely caught up after this. Um, and I am working on, this is witch ride from Bar. Barbara Anna, and it is this. I do love that. Um, it's so cute, and honestly, I'm going to be done really quick. Um, I had just had like the little teacup started before, and so I've been working on it for a few hours already, and so cute. These, <laughs> this is two different colors of blue. They are exactly the same. They look exactly the same. They look very different when you hold the skeins up to each other. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Um, the called for color was like 503 and 502, which are a lot more like tealy green. And I was like, no, because I like in the picture how it's like blue. Um, so I picked two different blues to mimic that color. And it, they look, it's, it's fine. Whatever. I still like it. Yeah. So now I'm working on the mouse. And that'll be like the most amount of stitching. And then there's just like a plant coming out here. And then there's just like snowflakes. Nice. And then it'll be done. And so I have to finish that. I'm going to finish it because I have sort of 10 hours for my whip go call. And then I'm also going to use this as one of the pick a whips. Okay. Um, which one of them is like stitch something with an animal on it. And I was like, okay. So, so I can work on this for like 15 hours and clear two like prompt things and probably finish it within that time kind of thing yeah those are my five whips okay. i worked on two existing projects for just a little smidge of time so one i put in just a tiny bit of stitches on my yalda tinaru so i had this one this first sun mostly done and so i put in the second sun through the middle through the third sun and so i've just got to finish the last sun and the little column thing there and then there's only three panels left to go and so I should I should spend some more time with this because I love it and I would be really happy for it to be done for those of you who didn't come to the whip parade here's a full shot of what it looks like like just look how bright and beautiful and colorful that is like, it looks really good I would like it I also be um I was also watching um mod cross Sarah mm -hmm. um and her her one looks really good. She just did two different colors. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. And it made me want to get mine out. And I was like, mm -hmm. no, I'm working on other things right now. Yeah. But. Yeah. 
And then we did have um, a Lord of the Rings Zoom. And so I got a little bit done on this one, Snack Dragon. And we are doing Lord of the Rings Zoom later today. So I will get some more done unless I spend the whole time ranting. I apologize in advance, friends. I should just keep myself on mute. Nobody needs to hear it. It gets a little unhinged. But um, we yeah. love the unhinged. I know you love the unhinged, but it's not. The... Anyway, it looks great. Is that asparagus? Think, yeah, that's asparagus. And the white is oyster. Um, I would really like to get this done. Mm -hmm. I don't think that it's reasonable to expect myself to be done by the one year start anniversary, but maybe I'll try. Oh, okay. um, if I bring only this to Banff, and I don't you have, have choices, right? Well, Other than that, we're going to do a slide, though. Yeah. But I'll think about it. Yeah. I feel like that's setting myself up to buy things, though. And I don't know that I necessarily want to do that. Like, at least bring, like, a couple other, like, small things. things. Yeah. So Maybe that you can finish. On Anita or for hand stitching. Yeah. Like, also... What if the light isn't as good there as it is in the room at Stitch North, right? Like, I didn't even pack my little portable light for Stitch North this year, but I no, I didn't. I'm gonna be in a car, so yeah. I can bring bring the light, bring a bigger light. So yeah, yeah. Not that I know what the power situation is. Well, okay. Mine is like functionally battery powered you can plug it into like a little portable that, charger that's what i think the one that i'm no longer using upstairs is too so i should i should try and see if get i get a different pattern well, i did not stitch on any of my like i didn't stitch on stitch for pride or my biome so i'm two months behind on biome i'm only one month behind on stitch for pride and things like that but honestly yeah not stressing about it because it's not worth it <laughs> i have enough stress and so in Dee's last video, um, he was saying that he was really proud of everyone for keeping up with Stitch for Pride. And they were like, I didn't think anyone would keep going past like the third month because I know you and you know yourselves. And I was just like, okay, well, I mean, you're, you're right, but all right. I mean, I'm a little bit further along than three months, but not that much. The The drop this morning, which I've barely, I, all I did was look at it. So I'm not even going to talk about oh, it. I haven't even looked at it yet. About yet. It's not huge. So yeah. I can probably do like sit down and do both in a couple days. Because mm -hmm. um, the one from last month wasn't huge, huge either compared to some of the other ones. And even the big ones haven't been big, right? Like it's all it's all relative right like so so I think that so long as I can sort of get myself back on track after the next week and a half here mm -hmm. maybe both will be done by the end of September I just I'm not gonna say anything I still to do June July and August mm -hmm. a little further behind um and apparently October is gonna be big that's the word on the street too right so maybe I should that's Hopefully, do it. I would like to finish it in this year. Me too. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, do you, do you buy anything? I've I've got a few things hanging out here. Um, I've got two months of Rolanda floss to show you. So how about I start with that? Yes. Um. Then what did I do with my board? Moved it away like I didn't need it anymore that's not true so this is my july colors i love those wow that pink would be perfect for a duckworth street sample it would it would be you are right even the Thank green you. might be okay for the olive green yeah maybe a little brighter but and here are my august colors Ooh, right. I like that purple, greeny, teal one. Right. Yeah. 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 Good. Oh, those are so good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I just, she does a good job. I'm just gonna keep getting them, even if sometimes I feel like I feel like I've seen this mix before. 
then I put them on the floss monster and separate them all out because the floss monster is organized by color a little bit more and mm -hmm. they all yeah. seem to be even if they're similar yeah yeah like, then you at least you could do like a big sampler with one yeah yeah um, the different I could. yeah I'm gonna leave this till the last um I got a Michelle auction win oh which one and did you so it's a book sleeve with r2d2 cross stitch or i think it's probably supposed to be knit. i don't know they're made I out of little knitting, but whatever yeah um and then the pattern kit in it is this cozy winter wishes from your friend of mine diana which is one that i've liked oh, yeah. all those nice little sweaters Sounds and then michelle threw in this cute little Needle minder, which is not thematic to the stitching, but it's thematic to Deanna because, you know, Missy potions. Mm -hmm. And um, it came with a piece of buttercream. It was upside down and it did not look like buttercream. And the DMCs. Oh. So that's all kitted up and ready to go when I want to start it needle minder and everything and i've got another sleeve which i like for projects yeah yeah those are great yeah um i got my kaylee august bag and fabric of the month so here's my bag and it's got these alphabet birds oh. so cute i'm kind of like i would like a piece of the fabric with the whole alphabet I think so I might ask her who it's from or I might just tell myself I'd like it but I'd buy it and do nothing with it because I wouldn't want to break it up so yeah. I don't need like a piece of fabric to just hang out and then this fabric is called please use a coaster <laughs> and it's cute and I'm gonna see I'm gonna um I'm gonna participate in Steph's birthday round robin um yeah auto maker thing i'm going to see i'm going to pull that looks really washed out but i'm going to pull the colors and see mm. what i think about putting it on here All right so a bit of interest in the back but nothing that's going to draw too much away from the quakers mm -hmm. but i just i thought it was really it might work well for that i think yeah i think color wise it would be yeah and then i also got from kaylee My God. I, shall, I shall never run out of 310 again my precious you know the pictures on the internet do not do this justice. yeah I didn't think it was as big as your head I did not think it was this big it is huge yeah. it is beautiful I'm gonna I gotta figure out what kind of home it can live in so it doesn't get covered in cat hair it does come in like a, in a bag for now but um that's not that's not a suitable home for the cone of doom mm -hmm. so yeah it needs like its own like needs like know. a cover yeah right maybe like a glass pedestal thing oh yeah like one of those fancy fancy cake trays or whatever it's got to be a high dome but wouldn't that be fun like just sitting on a shelf here's my cone of doom um i also got and it's not open because it's for december my gastropod um advent countdown from jazz i'm not going to flash it too much but some of the bags are a little a little open but i have to wait until december it's going to be hard mm -hmm. you know it's going to be good my um countdown december box from uh patty is on its way as well and i was like writing i saw she was posting am i not does. supposed to open it until december yeah I also have in the advent realm. I bought this in a moment of weakness from Sticky. It's for October. It's oh, cool. Twelve days of stickers, but it's like this accordion thing. But it's got these little art panels oh, nice. for each of them, and like they're calling it tarot. And I guess in so much as they are cards and they have numbers on them, but none of them necessarily align 
with a yeah. particular I don't know but it's cute and then there's 12 sheets of stickers and whatever they got me in a moment of weakness and I also have my and I didn't open any of the peripheral my Firefly Notes um stitch marker advent calendar which I wasn't gonna get and then Michelle Chinook Crafter was like oh hey where's that place you get that stitch marker advent calendar from Blah, blah, blah. So I go and I find it on the Instagram to link to her. And then I noticed that they said that this is the last time they're going to do one. Oh. And I've been trying to resist it. And then I didn't. And then Michelle didn't end up getting it before it sold out. And so, um, or at least sold out direct from them. I got the matching um, tin because I don't have space for 24 more stitch markers. So for 25. Plus, look at that. Although that it doesn't have a bird on it too, but it'll do. And then they sent, and I haven't taken part. I'm not going to. But it's a little tiny round one with the fox on it in there. That's mm -hmm. just a little thank you. And it's just it's just got bald pins in it, but those always come in handy. Yeah, totally. And it was totally like, I will take another cute tin. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing that has come, in a couple different ways is my fancy items for my octopus's garden octopus treasure cave i always want to call it garden oh um, yeah chatelaine okay. and so we have from michelle we've got these at acorns we have a gloriana peacock blue the 12 stranded silk and then uh cinnamon the um pearl Petite pearl cottons. So there's those. And then I got from so those are what of the of the four Florianas that it calls for. Four, five, five Florianas that it calls for. Those are what they had. And so then I ordered the rest from traditional stitches in Calgary. And so there's three skeins of Monet's Pond, also the pearl cotton. There is a skein of jewel turquoise and a Ooh. skein of blue Hawaii. Oh, I'm pretty sure those are basically the of them. There's yeah. the, um, the blue Hawaii is a little bit deeper, but once you get stitching with it. Um, so I'm just hopeful because they are a little pricey that you use enough that you would have needed two skeins. And so then there's a choice, but even if you don't, it's not like I won't find something else to use it on. So those are all the Glorianas. They're glorious. And I was like, what if this one is also very close, but it is definitely much more green. So it's fine. Okay. Um, and then I got from European cross stitch. I ordered the other flosses like the without Gloriana one. And so they send them in the Flossway bags. But so there's a couple of Caron water lilies, three of them. I'm not going to take them all out. Mm -hmm. I don't know what their names are. There are several dinky dyes, whole array of dinky dyes, treasure braid in there. I like that color of the treasure. And the jewels, which is a lot of fun. All the All the beads and bits all sourced for me which is nice so now I need to decide what to stitch it on I thought I was going to use this one of the fabrics I dyed but I think it's going to be too light for the Monet's Pond I feel like when I get that Monet's Pond and I'm stitching with just one one thread of it because it's the petite yeah. cotton it's not going to stand out on there so I think I'm going to use the oh, deep blue that I dyed. Oh, yeah. They're going to stand out a lot more on that one across the colors. Even the, um, like, these dinky dyes, I think, would be problematic on this yeah. a little bit, too. So. so the darker one is the way to go, I think, so. Watch for a start sometime soon, perhaps before our next floss, too, hopefully. Um, I'm very excited and nervous. Yeah. 
I think uh -huh. I'm going to do, I'm not going to get all the stuff for it yet, but I do want to do a shadowing. I think I'm going to do the amber ocean lights or whatever it's called. It's Ooh. there's, there's like yeah. a bunch of uh, lighthouses. Yeah. And then I think there's like seahorses or something on it. That was really good. Like, yeah, that is very you. Yeah. That but, I believe is all my stuff. I mean, there's probably other stuff, but whatever. That's enough stuff. I also got a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. so one the first thing I got I don't know what order these are in anyway I'll show this first um I did order so I ordered the the box from Brin and Needle of their like help us make money for our store thing that they were doing those haven't shipped uh yet um but I did also order a bunch of flosses while I was on the website so now I have the Beautiful. Uh, some of these are, I think these are all new ish. Like, I don't think I've, except for this one. I think this is, yeah, Nanny Bennett's lipstick, which I was missing this one from before. Um, and then one of these is one of the like rude name ones. I forgot which one it is. Maybe it's, yeah, it's this one The House of Dickie Berg. Why is that rude? That's a real place. I know. It's, the... it's just a place name. Or name Tell me yourselves. Yeah. Uh, this is Ostara. Oh, I have that one. Yeah. Yeah. This one is. I think that was in one of the floss packs. So maybe it was one where you got the three instead of the five. Oh, maybe. Or maybe I just have it anyway. I think I do. Um, he could put an arse in a cat. I have that one. I think. Yeah. I like the blue, it's got these blue freckles on the bottom, and it's really cool. I think that'll look really cool stitch up. And then this one is, we call them, we use, calls them big apples. It's showing a little lighter, but, but it's, yeah, nice. A nice fall orange. Add those to my Brenna Needle stash. Um, and then I also had pre-ordered this book from Max Pigeon, The Pigeon Coop Designs. So this is his cross stitch in the forest book. Um, I Mine came, I didn't have any problems. Mine was shipped through Amazon. It was a tiny bit delayed, but it came pretty soon after the drop. I don't know. A lot of people were having trouble with theirs, but I was very lucky. But yeah, there's just some good, I'll show you some of my favorites. It kind of sounds like a problem of they oversold and under-delivered. Yeah, and I mean, fair enough, that happens. So I really like this one. I was thinking, that, like, I have a very good dark green. But I think I could do that. Although, I mean, it's a lot of stitching, but it looks, it looks really good. The effect the thing is, is if work. you're stitching, you're stitching, right? And unless you're working on one project at a time, everything. Okay. Um, Michelle's done that one already. Uh, May Moose Mama, because it's got a moose on it. She, like, instant started it. So good. Yeah. How do you want? I show really them like the one you Oh, that's cute. I love these bugs. I would maybe do mine on, like, a blue or a green or something, something fun as the background, but yeah. It's good. Um, and the one I had to send this one to Megan like immediately. <laughs> this hair on, so pretty. I love it so much. Looks really good. And the fox is good too. I think someone's finished this one. I, I wouldn't be surprised. That one doesn't look as big. Mm -hmm. beautiful fall one just similar to some of his other like mountain vista kind of scenes uh -huh. oh you didn't show me that one no I did not show you that one blue jay for my, for my home this one's really cool with the different colors a lot of these sort of like negative space tree ones Lots of birds. Lots of birds. 
like that bear. Mm. Oh. So oh yeah, and then there's these Mothly crew. Well, I'm glad <gasps> I'm not getting a copy of that now. <laughs> yeah, Megan. Megan uh, won the. I don't know. I won the poopy Amazon situation lottery. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then I ordered some stuff from One Two Three Stitch. So I really want to start, um, this. From the witchy stitcher is the black girl. Yeah, you um, it's in the the pirate book that Michelle gave me, which is over there somewhere. Um, so I just pulled up the picture of it. So I really wanted to do it all in one color, but I didn't want to do it in black. So I have selected. Is it called midnight? It's called midnight something. Doesn't say. Anyway, um, that's a silky. Oh, a variegated one. Beautiful. Yeah, so it's like blue and purple and whatever, whatever. And I got this piece of fabric to put it on, but I, it's, I think it's too dark. Yeah, it won't pop enough. But I have a light gray 32 count that I think would be perfect. And I did some like, um, some like test stitches with just one strand and I think it'll work out. So that'll be the plan for that. And then I, and I already know what I'm gonna do with this just a tiny little mm -hmm. piece I have a plan. Uh, and since a uh, thread can't travel alone and neither can a single tiny little piece of fabric, I also... Like, even if they're together, they're still alone. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered... This is uh, called Night Sky. This is fiber on a whim. This is 18 count. If I take it out of the bag. Yeah. Like, I don't have enough charcoal fabric I oh, guess you don't have that one I don't have that one I have four other pieces from Kaylee that are they're based. similar they're not the same <laughs> whatever it's fine um and then I also did actually need some more like beige kind of ones because I was looking for something earlier and I didn't have anything that would fit um so this is also 18 count this is milk and honey from fiber on a way that's a good one I like a five fabric. Yeah. And I always want more 18 count for big stuff. Yeah. And then this one as well is sort of beigey. And this one is also 18 count. All those. And then I had to get a bunch of patterns. So I got this one. Ooh. Which I wanted this one for a while. I was gonna do this with my um, Valentine's thread pack that I got from Brendan Needle. Um, and then I was gonna get the PDF and the PDF is not on her website. Oh. <laughs> and I asked her about that and she was like, oh, I probably forgot to put it on there. Um, but then I was ordering stuff anyway and I was like, I'll just, I'll just buy it. And then I can give it away. Yeah. Someone else can stitch it when I'm done with it. And then I also had to get the oh. Hobbit House. Uh, Maybe I should just start that. I also got this barn, oh, which too. was not part of my plan. But then when I was buying that one, and they they had like like we ones. also recommend, and you're like, okay, fine. I do love those cows, and I really like how they did the barn. They're like, like space the cows. They're floating, and I love the flowers in the barn. I think it looks really neat. And I do love the sunflowers. So when will I stitch it? Who knows? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Uh, and then I also finally got the seaside tiny town. Which nice choice. I think this will be my last tiny town because the last few that have come out, I have been sort of like not super excited about them. Um, and then they just released another thankful tiny town. So now they have three, like I have the Halloween one and I have the harvest one. I do not need the thankful one. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the winter one because I still I have the Christmas one that I haven't even done yet. So I think I'm good on Tiny Town after this. You don't have to do every one in a series, right? Like I, I mean, I'm, yeah, I wasn't going to do like the honey one or the flower one anyway. So I don't know. But I mean, she's probably going to keep making more of them. Anyway. 
anyway, so I shouldn't say. He eventually right does like move on to different things. So who knows? Who knows? But for now, that was my last one. Although I am definitely going to get more of the houses series because I also really like the lighthouse and the floating house. Again, when will I switch them? Who knows? It doesn't matter. I'm fine. Someday. Uh, and then my friend and yours, Deanna, Darling Whimsy Designs, did a little Patreon um, sale of her some of her older patterns and so you just had to message her if you wanted any one in particular and she would send you that one and then some other ones so i needed the fox so i got the fox and then she also sent me this one is this little heart oh that's cute it is really cute i like it and I might even do it as a pillow because I can do that now. And this Christmas one. Well, that one's cute too. Right? That'll be a nice little Christmas stitch. And I can do it as an ornament and hang it up at Christmas time. And then she also sent me this tiny little sheep card <laughs> and a thank you that I put up on my wall. Yes, you should. Don't worry, there's more. <laughs> So then I also had to order some stuff from Kaylee. I had to. Okay. I also got DMC from her because it was for something else. But I'm, that's in a bag. I don't know. Uh, so this one is called Beach Ready. So this is ready. 16 counts. It's so cool. I love the pink. Mm -hmm. Again, what will I put on here? Who knows? And this one, which is very similar to the one that we got at Stitch Noise. No, it's different. I always need more Chris Halloween stuff. Halloween stuff. This is Osiris, and I got 18. I like it. And this one is. Shirley Temple? Yes, this is Shirley Temple. This is also 18 count. Those are good colors. Yeah. Very new. Summer slash spring-ish. And this one is called Motley. Motley. This is also 18 count. Cool. I love that. Depending on what the deal is for Stitch for Pride next year. Mm -hmm. I think because I think especially because it's gonna be like very artist based, I believe. Or whatever. Or no, it's gonna be like historical figures. I mean like but I think it'll it'll be good. Yeah. See. We'll see unless something else comes up between now and then that I have to put on them. <laughs> so you never know. People really stuff time. all the time. Oh, I was also thinking maybe um Mar Miriam's um for like the pride all the band oh, yeah. pride ones maybe on there. That would be cool. Oh now I don't know. I might have to get more. What a shame. And, <laughs> and the last thing that I had ordered was bags. So Shiba Designs, Melissa. Then another drop of her roar fabric. So I got the T uh, T Rex, the Triceratops. I got the Triceratops, and I got the T Rex. Lovely thread bed. So good. And then Jasmine custom bags. Uh, Star Wars fabric, and I love Star Wars, and I love retro themed things. Oh, I had to have this. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's huge, a good size. Huge as stars and stars. Star Wars, ha ha. Love, love her bag. It's so nice, and I love that this is pretty. It's a blue. 
looks so good. Oh, anyway, that's all I got. Great. I'm million little items. So, what are your plans? I'm not making plans because okay. <laughs> I got I got things. I got lots of things I'll work on. Yeah. Well, like I have the capacity to work on. My um, let me look up. I know I updated my notion for my workflow calls for September. I'm also still super behind on pick a whip, but I'm like less worried about that. That's just, like more like prompts to help you, right? Like yeah, like if you're like, what do I switch on? I don't know. Um, okay, so oh yeah, so for September, um, any animal for this is for whip, uh, whip go. Oh, I could work on that. Which one is animal? Any animal and mer people. Oh right, okay, mer people. So I think I was gonna do um my under the sea uh sal and finish it okay. right because i could do 20 hours yeah on that one because it's got mermaids and it's got lots of animals yeah so i think that was gonna yeah that was gonna be my plan That's a good, my, good goal. i really want to finish so much older stuff because i keep starting new stuff and then just not working on it and you know what do we do um and then for um for quirky quakers so for september it's um farm theme so i think i'm finally going to do the cow because i've had that uh pretty much kitted up and ready to go since session with last year and um the flying animal was uh the second one and i think i'm going to do the bee which i've also had kitted up for forever um so i'll finish those but i still have three I saw two for August and one for July to finish before I do so yeah those are my plans for September and then obviously I have to finish my ink circles around Robin and send it off to my yeah, I mean I guess plan wise that should be finish my empress and work on that one and then the rest yeah can at least do those and then I mean, I would love to do some, at least one stitch for Pride this yeah. month, because I didn't do any last month. So, but yeah. three Quakers, and then I really want to finish that witch, and I have to finish my ink circles. So those for sure will be top of the list. And then after that. It's a hobby, <laughs> not a job. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice? But it makes me feel better. And this is the thing. It's like, because I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm so tired. I don't want to do anything. I just want to like look at my phone and then I don't do anything. And then I feel like crap. But at least if I'm like, oh, I've accomplished something, I do feel a little bit better than if I just sit there and do absolutely nothing. Yeah. I, I just have to give myself easier things to work on when I don't feel like doing anything. <laughs> so, you know. And then I buy more stuff. That I still don't use because I'm not stitching anything. Yeah. And that just feels crazy. So that is, yeah, that's us caught up for yeah. August. If you're coming to Zoom later, we will see you there. Otherwise, we'll see you again in. I, we gotta we have to talk because the next weekend that we'd probably update we're gonna be together so maybe oh are we gonna do an in-person update maybe i don't see why not with a special guest star with a special guest yeah yeah we'll see it won't be amy don't get your hopes up folks oh. <laughs> yeah, amy's surprising us the fab. it won't be amy but we'll we'll chat and get back to you all all right thanks for watching see you next time bye